Hi everyone, this is Mehmudul Hassan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our today's video, we will discuss about the goods in transit functionality in landed cost module in D365. So, what is the goods in transit order? In the context of supply chain management, a goods in transit order refers to items that have been shipped from the seller or supplier but have not been received by the buyer or customer. These goods are physically on their way to their destination but are considered part of inventory in, ta in transit. To process this in D365, I will create a new purchase order. I will go to the accounts payable on all purchase orders and create a new purchase order click on new I will select my vendor I will update my site and warehouse let's say my site is one and my warehouse is double one my accounting and requested receipt there will remain the same click on ok i will type in my product let's say lc005 is my product I will update the quantity let's say 100 is my quantity and system have fetched the unit price as well according to the product setup I will sell this purchase order and also confirm this purchase order Click on OK. While we'll confirm this purchase order, I will discuss about some prerequisites uh, that must be met. The first one is enable goods in transit management on the terms of delivery. Second one is the configuration of goods in transit warehouse on our main warehouse and the third one is the setup goods in transit accounts on the item group form item group posting form so if i go to the line details on delivery tab i will update my delivery to the fob free of board and if I go to the form details you can see that on terms of delivery I have enabled the goods in transit management as well if I go back and go to my receiving warehouse You can see that on my main warehouse, the goods in transit warehouse is set up and also the under delivery warehouse is also set up. And in the inventory and warehouse management section of the main warehouse form, you can see that the default receipt location and default issue location are also set up. If we don't set up these locations on the main warehouse form, we will end up uh, error messages and our goods in transit order will not be processed if I go to my product on the item group 
under the purchase order this landed cost goods in transit account must be configured if we go back close this window and process this purchase order to a voyage to create a voyage click on purchase under landed cost click on create new voyage I will type in the description let's say GIT test I will select my vessel my journey template and click on OK I will add this purchase order to the staging list click on view staging list I will add my products in this purchase order to a new shipping container add the shipping container and click on OK okay let's go back to our voyage and under on the journal tab under inquiries click on goods in transit orders as you can see there is no goods in transit order created because we have not invoiced the purchase order I can invoice my purchase order on the purchase order form and I can also invoice my purchase order on the voyage form as well if I go to the manage click on post invoice from the voyage form The system is taking too much time I don't know why but let's type in our invoice identity identification number one thing you need to check on the default quantity it should be the order quantity because we have not processed any product receipt because the products are not received yet I will select the order quantity click on OK and also post dash that invoice click on general under inquiries click on goods in transit order you can see that our goods in transit order is now created if we look into the transactions of the product let's go to our product under manage inventory click on on hand inventory you can see that the order exists for the hundred quantity <coughs> and physically these products are available in the goods in transit warehouse with the required quantity I will go back again to my voice form
under general tab click on goods in transit orders to view my order I will receive that goods in transit order let's assume our products are received in the main warehouse click on ok to receive that product into the main warehouse if I refresh this form you can see that the goods in transit order is received now if I go back to my product and uh, manage inventory on hand inventory you can see that my inventory is transferred from the goods in transit warehouse to my main warehouse now so that is it uh, for the today's video that was on goods in transit order we will meet in the next video till then bye bye